from Germany spacecraft performance is also nominal. Uh, yeah, it is. Alright, Roger, thank you. Stand by for the parameters. Okay, Roger. Feels very nice up here. That was a beautiful launch, Jim. Great launch. And uh, we were just saying the Titan II performance was nominal. Roger. Got the launch. I don't know if Jim felt it, but I felt some pogo when we were nearing Biko, a couple of seconds before Biko. All right, let's see. Your perigee is 299 kilometers with an apogee of 302 kilometers. Your inclination is 28.9 degrees, with a period of 90.54 minutes. Okay, roger. station keeping. Oh yeah, roger that. We'll keep it on. Uh, Jim, can you do me a favor and start on the post insertion checklist? I have, I'm doing something with the ohms right now. I think, um, I think Jim's trying to contact us. Oh, and, um, uh, th this is uh, a little late here, but, uh, Germany 7, you are go for orbit.
Uh, Houston, am I good to go fly by wire with the ohms? Yeah, you can go ahead and switch to fly by wire. Alright, did I go on fly by wire? Alright, we're on fly by wire. I have control of the ohms. Jim, you continue with the checklist. I'm going to try and get us started here on this uh, station keeping. We're, we already, we've already lost a lot of, or we've, um, we've gone really far ahead. Running us aft a little. Okay, Houston, I've just uh, yawed us around. Um, I can see the Titan up the stage out my window. It's pretty small right now, though. We drifted really far away from it. Stand by. All right, Roger that. Try not to use too much fuel here. Okay, and um, I'm gonna I'm gonna try and kill off attitude here, not attitude. Uh, uh, rel velocity? Yeah, yeah, relative velocity. All right, and uh, yeah. So once you kill off the relative velocity, you should be just stationary because venting is not in progress. It isn't, or it is. Uh, it is not. Okay. Yeah, it won't get too close once we actually get up to it. I don't want to pull a, uh... I don't want to pull a Gemini 5. <laughs> Jim, we're using, we're using fuel really fast just sitting here. And uh, Houston, I'm kind of worried about our fuel usage. Um, I'm already noticing that we are, we're using quite a lot of fuel. Right. Well, uh, feel free to terminate the uh, process when you feel like it, if you're uh, thinking. That it is spending too much fuel. Okay, Roger. I'm gonna keep it going for now. I just want to be a little more conservative with the fuel usage. I'm gonna use the thrusters less. Okay. Actually, I'm gonna go ahead and switch us into. You know what? No, I'll stick on fly by wire. Uh, Jim, let me know when we're done with the checklist. And uh, Houston, we are following the rules as set by the rendezvous checklist uh, on those speed restrictions. Yeah. And that, that's an A for I'll take off my uh, my helmet and uh, stuff soon. Jim, I'm just gonna keep them on for now. Okay.
not in progress? Confirmed, it's not in progress. Okay, so the upper stage is not venting rush that. Looks good, still 5.6 psi. Roger that. And confirm you are still stationary relative to the um, the upper stage? Uh, no, we're closing in at a really, very, really slow pace. Roger that. Houston, I can see that um, the upper stage has started venting. Alright, uh, Booster, can we confirm that the upper stage venting is in progress right now? Confirm. Okay, yeah, the upper stage is venting. Yeah, it's gone into a bit of a tumble roll, so I am not gonna get too close to it. If I had to estimate my distance right now, I would say probably about 150, 250 feet. Roger that. of this.
Now, uh, Houston, Jim's gonna do some photography of the upper stage. Alright, yeah, you can proceed with that. And uh, our fuel compa our fuel capacity is 93 percent. So we've already burned off almost 10 percent of our fuel. Roger that. What is our uh, max fuel that you'd like that we're allowed to burn off in this uh, station keeping? Um, we'd like you to stop by the time you've reached 90 percent. Roger, that gives us 2% fuel left. Okay. Alright, Jim, I'm gonna just stop using the thrusters for the time being and let us just sit here. Because I do not, uh... <laughs> we already got, we only got 2% of the fuel remaining in this rendezvous. I am gonna briefly turn the ohms power off. Houston, I've just turned the ohms power off. Um, really just sitting here. We're slightly separating. It looks like, um, looks like the venting from the Titan is kind of bringing it away from us. It's starting to move away. And I am switching the ohms over to manual. Ohms is manual, but the ohms power is still off. I'll turn it back on in a second. Ian, some photography there. Okay, Roger. Yeah, it does look good. Okay. Ohm's power coming back on, keeping it in manual. We still got it right out the windows, Houston. Roger that. And uh, Jim, how should we use this last 2% of fuel? Should I, should I just kind of go for it and kind of just just burn it forward and I'm gonna burn us forward a little. Roger that. We'd um, we'd like you to um, reserve some fuel to like pull away from it just in case. Yeah. Just gotten us a lot closer, but I accidentally, uh, we're down by that 1%, we're at, uh, 89% fuel. Sorry about that, Houston. Oh yeah, that's okay, we can, uh, make that, and we make up for that later on in the mission. Okay. Yeah, I burned it one per, I, I burned it forward until he got to that 61%, and then I, um, I burned it aft, but I burned it a little too far aft. Okay.
And uh, Houston, what seems like a blink of the eye, we've lost uh, sight on the upper stage here. It kind of dropped uh, below us relative to our current attitude. Okay, roger that. That's because of the venting. I could pitch a, I could pitch us down a little to get another view on it, but that would use even more of the ohms. Yeah, um, we could cremate uh, the um, station keeping if uh, we think that's enough. Roger. Yeah, I'm. I mean, I'm willing to keep going, but um, it's really up to it's up to you guys since uh, you know I, I'm I I'm just trying to make sure that we have a. Well, I'll use however much fuel you guys allow me to, pretty much. Well, um, at this point, I would say we can just um, uh, call it a day with station keeping, and because since the upper Okay, Roger. So are we terminating station keeping? Hey, for Roger. Well, that was pretty successful, I'd say. I got, uh, I would say our closest, closest distance to it, uh, came at the very end there when I, when I, when I burned us forward really quickly, um, and used up that last percent of fuel. That put us, I would, I would, I would guess, like, 50 feet? 50 feet, probably? So yeah, that was pretty successful station keeping, but yeah, that, uh... It's, it's going pretty crazy now. We were, we were in a slight separation. Um... But it's, uh, la last time we saw it, it was in a pretty, uh... noticeable tumble roll. Yeah, anyways, I'm actually gonna shut the fire quarters now. Okay, roger. Fire and station... Okay, go ahead. And I was gonna just say, and station keeping was terminated around the T-plus 30 minute mark. Yeah, alright. Fire quarters come off in 3, 2, and 